Hello and welcome to the 2021 Washington Realtors installation event. My name is Kelsey Hormel and I am beyond honored to be your MC this evening. You may be wondering why is Tom's 16 year old daughter the master of ceremonies for such an important professional event? Besides a bit of nepotism and the fact that I'm actually 23, my dad does have some good reasons for choosing me as his backup MC. I grew up performing in musical theater, so I have lots of experience talking in front of people and improvising, which is helpful today since dad's first choice of MC, Eric Johnson, is such a goofball that no one wasted their time writing him a script that he would ignore. So I'm winging most of this. I've continued my comfortability with public speaking now professionally as a teacher. However, the average age of my audience members is now seven years old, so hopefully you are listening with some grace to me this evening. Like I said, I am unbelievably honored to be here. When dad asked me two days ago, I was shocked. Tonight is a night he has been waiting for for quite some time. What a coincidence that his installation lines up with what we've all been looking forward to. The first day he also qualifies for AARP. Happy birthday, dad. Are you still glad that you asked me to be here? Like my mom always says, think twice before you hand a Hormel a microphone. So I will pass it off to our first video of the evening. Here are some words of inspiration uh, from your, for your 2021 from your lovely president-elect, Sherry Daniels. When I was asked to give an inspiration, I was looking at the past year and it's been a really tough year for all of us. We haven't been able to see each other and I know that's difficult. And so I wanted to share a little bit of cheer and it's, this is called the Optimist Creed. And there's actually an Optimist Foundation. So if you're interested in that, um, look it up online. It's pretty interesting. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind, to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet, to make all your friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true, to think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own, to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future, to wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every living creature you meet, to give so much time to improving yourself that you have no time to criticize others, to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of yourself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. To live in the faith that the whole world is on your side, so long as you are true to the best that is in you. 2021 is going to be a great year. We've got a great leadership team. Tom, I'm so very happy for you. Kitty, thank you so much for all that you did for Washington Realtors last year. I love you. This next video is a huge honor for me to introduce to you. It is my joy and privilege to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Chris Hormel of the United States Army, my uncle, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Hormel. It is my honor and privilege to be part of my brother Tom Hormel's installation ceremony as the newest president of the Washington State Realtors Association. I would like to extend my congratulations to both Tom and his family. I know you will serve with distinction. We are all very proud of you. Without further ado, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag 
of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congratulations. Next, please join us in the Realtor Pledge. I am a realtor. I am a realtor. I am a realtor. I pledge myself to strive to be honorable and to abide by the golden rule. To strive to serve well my community and through it, my country. To abide by the Realtor's Code of Ethics and to strive to conform my conduct to its aspirational ideals. To act honestly in all real estate dealings and to protect the individual right of real estate ownership and to widen the opportunity to enjoy it. To seek better to represent my clients by building my knowledge and my confidence, I am a realtor. I'm a real realtor. realtor. I am a realtor. Now, the Washington Realtors would like to thank a certain list of people for joining us virtually today. We would like to recognize past state presidents, past and present real estate commissioners, 2021 local presidents, 2021 NAR directors, 2021 RPAC investors and local association executives. Um, we appreciate you being here with us today, even though this event looks a little bit different than normal. Next, um, we are going to watch the Women's Council of Realtors installation video. A leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be. I believe we here in Washington State are in the midst of great leaders, and I'm excited to see where we will go in 2021. It's my privilege to install our state officers. The Women's Council of Realtors Washington State members have elected each of you to an office of honor and responsibility. According to your ability and participation, you will shoulder the responsibility and render the service which is expected of you. The Women's Council of Realtors by the same token has a very well prescribed responsibility to support and work with you. The fact that you have been singled out and the membership has elected you to the positions you are about to occupy is evidence enough. They will work with you and support you during 2021. You are on a threshold of a year of challenge and opportunity. You individually, as well as with the board together, should have a dynamic year and soar to new heights of excellence with your leadership and active participation based on the friendship and the desire to be of service to all Realtors, you and the Women's Council of Realtors should achieve a high place in our community, in our state, and in our nation. Now, will you please raise your right hand? Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that you will administer your office in the Women's Council of Realtors to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with its charter and bylaws, that you will observe and enforce the code of ethics and uphold and support the Washington Association and the National Association of Realtors and endeavor to secure the observance and enforcement of the real estate laws of the state of Washington by yourself and others that you will in all your acts be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner promote and safeguard the best interests of our state, the high purpose of the organization, and the welfare of membership. So help you God. If you do agree, please unmute and say, I do promise. I, I do promise. promise. Then by virtue of the authority conferred upon me as installing officer, I do hereby proclaim you to be duly and officially installed and inaugurated as officers of the Women's Council of Realtors, 
Washington State Network. Thank you so much. It is an honor to have been elected and I couldn't be more excited to serve as the Washington State Women's Council President. I look forward to working alongside my incredible governing board and continuing to align ourselves with Washington Realtors and all of our local Realtor associations. Leaders are made here. I'm so excited to work together to set higher standards in our industry, to be a voice of real estate, and to inspire others to realize they were made for so much more. God bless. Next, it is my honor to introduce Terry Sullivan. Terry Sullivan is a local past president, a past state president, a longtime FPC for the 5th Con Congressional District, and a longtime mentor and friend of my father. Terry Sullivan, would you please come to the podium? Good afternoon. Thank you, Kelsey. I think you just took my notes with you, though. You did take my notes. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. Happy New Year from Spokane. And I'm glad you could join us in this once-in-a-lifetime experience for Tom, Hormel, Andrea, Kelsey, and Grace, <clears throat> to whom we are grateful for sharing Tom during his many years of realtor volunteer work. I'm here to do three things tonight. I'm here to install the board of directors, the executive committee, and Tom. Now from this standpoint, right here, we don't see anybody. And so I'm going to hold everybody who is recognized when I ask you to be part of the installation to comply with the few requests I have. So item number one for me is the installation of the 2021 Washington Realtors Board of Directors. I'm not going to name you all, and I presume you're with us by video. Are you ready? In the role that you are about to assume, you will no longer be private citizens, but public servants. You will be identified as directors of your state association, dedicated to the interests of its members and to their welfare as well as to the public. As directors, you are entering a new adventure in friendship. It is a friendship nurtured and strengthened by your service, cooperation, and sharing with each other. It has been said, the secret of living is the art of giving. And so to you, this year comes the privilege of giving and learning that lasting happiness comes from thorough investment of your time and unselfish interest in the lives of others. Please raise your hand. I'm going to read three conditions, the end of which I'm going to ask you to respond with I will. Do you promise that you will administer your office to the best of your ability and judgment and in conformity with the bylaws of the Washington Realtors, that you will observe and enforce the Realtors Code of Ethics that you will uphold and support the Washington Realtors, the National Association of Realtors, and endeavor to secure the observance and enforcement of real estate laws of the state of Washington by yourself and others. That you will, in your acts, be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner promote and safeguard the best interests of this association and the welfare of its, in, of its members. Now here's your part. You must say, I will. So I'm going to listen. Then by the authority conferred upon me as your installing officer, I do hereby proclaim that you to be fully and du duly and officially installed as directors of the Washington Realtors. Congratulations. Now I'm going to ask Tom to come to the podium.
Well, I, I stand corrected. Different script that I'm reading here. So now I'm uh, part two for me is to um, install the executive directors. This too will be virtual. The executive committee for 2021 is composed of the following. Regional representatives, Bobby Chipman, Central Puget Sound. Irene Garcia, Northwest Washington. Sandy Lorenz, Southwest Washington. Joe Pitzer, Eastern Washington. Eliza Stevenson, Central Washington. NAR Director Representative, Donnie Malgarini Logar. Commercial Representative, Craig Soren. Local Association Representative, Tiffany Claxton. Washington Realtors Chief Officer. I think, it's, is this right? It says Stephen Franks. Okay, I know him. Vice Presidents Elect of Core Committees. Vice President Elect Government Affairs, Mary Kay Robinson. VP Elect Membership, Ken Sachs. VP Elect Operations, Doug Robbins. Vice Presidents of Core Committees. Vice President, Government Affairs, Eric Johnson. VP Membership, Patty Hill. VP Operations, I'm gonna try Fabria Alvazini. Officers of Association, Les Tom, Les Tom Hormel, is President-elect Sherry Daniels, First Vice President, Alicia Harrison, Immediate Past President, with us tonight, Kitty Wallace, Treasurer John Blom, and Treasurer-elect Brad Allen. Now, your part, you virtual members, is to listen and respond when I ask you. You have been selected and appointed by your peers to provide leadership to your association for the coming year. In this capacity, you will become not only a public servant, but also a servant of your members. You are dedicated to the best interests of the public. You are dedicated to provide leadership to your members by both action and example. As officers and leaders, you will learn the respect of the public and your peers by the unselfish giving of your time and talent to further the worthy goals of your association. You will be known as a leader. Now here's the participation part. Please raise your right hand. I'm going to ask you two conditions followed by my request for you to acknowledge them by saying, I will. Do you promise that you will administer your office in Washington Realtors to the best of your ability and judgment in conformance with the association's bylaws, that you will observe and enforce the Realtor Code of Ethics, that you will endorse and support the Washington Realtors and National Association of Realtors, that you will observe and help enforce the real estate laws of the state of Washington, that you will provide unselfish leadership dedicated to the best interests of the association and its membership, and that honesty and fair play will govern your actions. So now you are supposed to tell me, I will. I will. Thank you. I will. I will. Then by the virtue of my authority as your installing officer, it is my distinct privilege to hereby declare you to be duly installed as officers and leaders of the Washington Realtors. Congratulations. Now, here's the third item you've been waiting for, but first, we're going to hear from Tom's family on a special video. Hello, Washington State Realtors from wherever you are across the state. My name is Kelsey Hormel, and I am Tom Hormel's oldest daughter. I'm Grace, I'm her youngest daughter. And I'm Andrea, his wife. We are so excited to be celebrating this super special day today. It is both <coughs> his installation day to be your next Washington State President, and it is his 50th birthday. So over the hill he goes. Um, we are so proud of this next phase of leadership that he is taking on. 
and it's something that he has been very excited about and very passionate about for a long time. Um, <clears throat> my dad has been in the real estate business almost my whole life, so I have spent the last 20 or so years watching him grow and pursue this passion that he has for your career field. And in the last few years, it has really um, become evident how passionate he is for the leadership roles in your community. He loves serving people, and that is something that we all really admire about him. He loves his job because he loves serving his fellow agents, and he loves serving his customers, and he loves leadership because he wants to make this the best industry that he can for his peers and for his customers. And we are so proud of him and this amazing new step he is taking in his field. And we are excited to see um, where this year takes him. Hopefully it takes him beyond this room that you might see frequently in his Zoom calls. He loves traveling and we hope for everyone's sake and health that he can get back to that this year with you all. Um, but we want to thank everyone for continuing to make this a very special day for him regardless of circumstances. And here's to Tom Hamel and his presidency of 2021. May it be a safe, happy, and successful year for all of you. Um, thanks for showing him some love today uh, for his installation and for his special birthday. And from the Warmel Girls, happy 2021. Happy 2021. First, I want to congratulate Tom on being elected president of Washington Realtors. As his father and his first broker, I have watched the journey he has taken over the past 20 years. I'm proud of Tom as a father and a husband and the way he has provided for his wife, Andrea, and my granddaughters, Kelsey and Grace. I'm also proud of the businessman and leader that he is today. There is no doubt in my mind that the state of Washington, the realtor community, and all those working with him will be better for his leadership. Again, son, Congratulations. I wish you the best this coming year. Tonight is, is very meaningful for me, and I was honored that Tom asked me to serve in this role. Earlier, Kelsey mentioned that we have a history. Well, we do have a history. And uh, as a result, I feel like I've been part of a team building a boat that now we're ready to launch. So I'd like to share some reasons why Tom made it to this point in his real estate volunteer position and why he will succeed as our leader this year. I first saw this, the prominence of Tom Hormel, his singularity, I'll call it, in a local Spokane Association Board of Directors meeting in 2007. Uh, Patty Boyd was our president. I came away from that meeting thinking, this Hormel makes it pretty clear to understand what's on his mind. He's a pretty independent thinker for a new guy. Well, now that new guy is the number one guy in the Washington Realtors, the sixth member of the Spokane Association since 1970. So I got some input from other realtors in preparing for this tonight, and I asked them to characterize Tom in a word or two. And here's what I heard. Caring, tenacious, passionate, determined, a gatherer of facts, technologically advanced, smart, reliable, innovative, authentic, a team player, bullheaded at times, flamboyant, successful, independent, and a true family man. Make you feel proud, Tom? These qualities will help you tremendously this year. Tom, I speak for a number of our colleagues when I tell you my respect for the commitment you made to become the person here tonight. I'm impressed by your <clears throat> efforts to contribute, to show up for work on time, 
to listen to the other side, and I think, to become the best that you can be. And look where it's brought you, to the highest elected position in a prestigious professional association. Only 49 other people out of 1.4 million realtors have that distinction. Outstanding work, Tom. Well done. Tom, tonight, your life will change. I think you know that. You are now the face and the voice of the Washington Realtors. You have the power and the authority to enhance the professional lives of our membership and to advance the success of the Washington Realtors. And this year will speed up by like none before it. Right, Kitty? Right, Dale? Make each day count, Tom. Some things you will have to do will not be easy or convenient, but I predict this will be the most meaningful year of your career. And so, as you move from first mate to captain of the ship about to launch in 2021, you've got the support of the entire membership and our professional staff. You've got a royal flush for a hand. This is your year, Tom. I know we're ready for it, and so, so are you. I'm proud to be with you at this moment as the first one to introduce the next day president of the Washington Realtors, Tom Hormel. So, President Hormel, you are charged with certain additional responsibilities and obligations in that you must be a leader and an organizer in a willing and enthusiastic manner, ready to sacrifice personal interests for the good of the organization. Please raise your right hand. Do you promise that you will administer the oath, the office of president of Washington Realtors to the best of your ability and conformity with its bylaws? I will. Will you, in your acts as president, be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner possible, endeavor to promote and safeguard the best interests of the Washington Realtors. I will. Then, by the virtue of the authority conferred upon me as your installing officer, it is my distinct privilege to hereby declare that you are duly and officially installed as the 2021 president of the Washington Realtors. Congratulations, Tom. Now, to make this official, I'm going to present virtually the lapel pin to President Tom Hormel. And now, Mr. Hormel. So keeping with 2020 and 2021, we're a tiny bit out of order here, but it actually lends perfectly to what my year is about, and that is gratitude. So at this time, before I give my remarks, I'm going to bring to the stage the person that I'm following, the person that led the way before me in 2020. I think every one of us owes her an immense debt of gratitude for what she went through last year and the things that she put up with and, and, and the fact that she did it all with grace and honor and ethics and integrity. And she led our organization through a year that no one could have ever foreseen, let alone handled the way that she did with such tact and class. So I think I'm going to introduce a, a video yet. Hold on one second. Let me take a look. I want to make sure I'm getting it right this time. So we have a video from Vince Malta for Kitty, and then Kitty's going to come up and give some remarks. So if we could play the Vince Malta video right now, that'd be great.
Hello, I'm Vince Malta, the 2020 president of the National Association of Realtors, and I want to congratulate Kitty Wallace on a tremendous year for Washington Realtors working so well with not only her state, but her local and the National Association, achieving so much for our members during this very challenging year. Kitty, wishing you a great 2021, and thank you again for everything in 2020. Wow. Thank you, Tom, for those amazing remarks. I can't believe a year ago, it was me being installed as the 2020 president of the Washington Realtors in front of 300 of my closest friends. And today, I end it with all of you via Zoom. So most of the time you hear me public speak, I'll pick out a couple people from the audience to kind of pick on a little bit to ease some of my nerves. Yes, I do get nervous public speaking. Well, since we're doing it Zoom, I just want to comment on my beautiful sequence blouse matched with my favorite yoga pants. So as a personal privilege, my last personal privilege as 2020 president, I want to share a couple of priorities I had in 2020 and a little bit about those priorities. The first one was advocacy. It's no secret how passionate I am about RPAC and what we do. And it was my goal in 2020 that we help each and every one of our members understand our advocacy level. I have to give credit for my passion to Miss Pat Brewer. One time at a conference, I made the mistake of telling Pat, I hate politics and I'm not politically involved at all. She looked at me and replied in her Texas accent, honey, if real estate is your business, politics is your business. I've never forgotten those words. My goal for 2020 was for every Washington Realtors to understand our advocacy level. Then COVID hit. On Wednesday, March 25th, the governor announced our shutdown and real estate was not deemed essential. This was frustrating not only for the leadership team, for also for our staff and our members. Rather than hide like Sasquatch, we all put our heads down, work together as a leadership team and our government affairs team and our staff day and night for three days until Saturday, March 28th, real estate was deemed essential with several safety precautions. We were able to go out and help thousands of clients buy and sell real estate. That, my friends, is advocacy. At a national level, our lobbyists at the national level worked again tirelessly to get pandemic employment, unemployment available for self-employed realtors like you and me. This was phenomenal. And I would be remiss if I didn't call out Bill Clark, our Washington realtor lobbyist, who worked diligently with our members and our brokers to assist them in applying for that pandemic unemployment and PPP benefits. These are just a few of the many things that RPAC did in our advocacy efforts and our wins in 2020. I know how controversial politics is right now, and I want you to know that I no way condone violence of any kind. The attacks that we've seen on our nationals cap nation's capital on January 6th, and in, in fact, an attack on our own state capital here in Olympia, hmm, although I meant Spokane, but Olympia, <laughs> um, that was absolutely unacceptable. And I, it has made me more passionate about RPAC than ever. The pin I'm wearing tonight is my President Circle Platinum, Hall of Fame pin. And this May, I'm going to be inducted at a second level of Hall of Fame. I don't share this to brag with you. I share this about how important our advocacy is to our profession. When we talked about advocacy back in March, nobody knew what we were able to do. But the fact that we worked directly with the governor and were able to get real estate deemed essential in three days, again, I know politics is super ugly. And you've often heard me say in an RPAC speech that RPAC helps us get a seat at the table. And right now, no matter how ugly politics is, we can't give up that seat at the table just because we don't like what's on the menu. My second priority for Washington Realtors was to advance our fair housing efforts. Little did I know just how important this issue would become in 2020. Washington Realtors partnered with the National Association of Realtors and the phenomenal Brian Green. I hope you were able to attend our tribute to Martin Luther King on Monday. If not, that video is available for you to go back and listen to. It was phenomenal. 
I appointed President Jerry Martin to our chair, our presidential advisory PAG on fair housing. That advisory group worked diligently and the PAG members to help Washington Realtors advance our fair housing. Fair housing is at the top priority of Washington Realtors as well at the national level. I know we can't undo the past, but we can learn from our mistakes and move forward. Washington Realtor proudly supports House Bill 1335, which will allow homeowners to remove racial covenants from their deeds. I love the motto, be better today than you were yesterday. And Washington Realtors echoes this motto. 2020 was a year for the history books for sure. I could not have gotten through it without our amazing executive team, our members, and our incredible staff. 2018 President Elizabeth Mendenhall, National President Elizabeth Mendenhall, introduced the Realtor Gratitude Coin. This is a special coin that was created and numbered so that realtors could recognize other realtors who went above and beyond and were grateful for their service. I have two of these coins to give away. Ironically, you're supposed to get this and then pass it off, but COVID prevented me from doing that. So it's my pleasure tonight to uh, take care of dis distributing these coins. The first one is going to go to a Washington Realtor staff member. You probably have heard his name, but you may have never seen him because that's how good he is. He's kind of like a Sasquatch. It's Mr. Steve Klinecki. He is the communication director at Washington Realtors and the secret behind all those fabulous videos I did in 2020. Without him, I can't even imagine what those videos look like. So Steve, this coin is coming to you in the mail. The second coin I want to pass off is to our 2021 president, Tom Hermel. Tom and I met, ironically, several years ago at a national convention in uh, New Orleans. In fact, it was the first time the National Association of Realtors had been back to New Orleans since Katrina, Hurricane Katrina. And ever since, Tom and I have been like brothers and sisters. I can't even imagine surviving 2020 without having Tom to bounce things off. Tom, it's truly been my pleasure to watch you grow over the years. You have earned this coin, my friend, and you are going to be an amazing leader for our association in 2021. As I conclude, it has truly been my pleasure to serve as your president. And I will rest very well at night knowing I'm passing the gigantic gavel to Tom and the leadership team. He's got great support with President-elect Sherry Daniels and First Vice President Alicia Harrison. So for all now, good night. Thank you very much. Now we're going to see a pass the video gavel or pass the gavel video. Hi Tom, much success in your year. Good luck. Thanks Karen. Tom, congratulations. And I'd like to just share a couple of things that I learned along the way. Number one, always trust and appreciate your staff as well as your executive committee and especially your leadership team. They will always have your back. Number two, always keep our members top of mind. And third but not least is I used to remind myself, it's not about me. So it's not about you. It's all about those you empower and mentor who will follow. Congratulations, let me know if I can help. And now, Jerry. Margo, let go. Hey Tom, congratulations, can you believe it? We made it to 2021 and your year of presidency. We're all very excited for you. You're doing a great job in handling all the matters that are coming before the association. The one thing advice I can hand to you as a friend and as a fellow associate is rely on staff. We have a great WR staff. Certainly lean into your executive committee and know that you'll have the full support of the association and the directorship and look forward to serving with you. If there's anything that I can do at all, please don't hesitate to ask. And with that, I'll hand it over to President Dale. Thanks, Jerry. Tom, 
congratulations on your new role as Washington Realtors President for 2021. Hope you know what a huge honor it is. It was such a blessing for me to get to do that and I hope you have all of the same experiences that I have. Um, hopefully we have an amazing year. I'm sure that we will. And uh, just remember, we've got some great leadership that's come up behind you. We're all here for you. We're all here to help however we possibly can. We've got some great leadership coming down the line and continue to encourage and mentor them, looking for new people to bring in to help serve and give back to our membership. Uh, one of the highlights for me was just being able to care about and love on our membership and just get to spend time visiting with everybody. Hopefully we'll have some face-to-face -face time this year to be able to do that. But if not, even through the camera, we have those opportunities to do that. So have an amazing year. I know it's gonna be great. You're gonna do a wonderful job and all my best to you. I'm gonna pass this off to Kitty. Thanks, Dale. Tom, today is finally here. It is your day, the day you're installed as the president of the Washington Association of Realtors for 2021. It's my pleasure to have watched you grow into this amazing leadership role, and I'm proud to call you my friend. And as your immediate past president, I have a little bit of advice for you. Listen more and talk less. And with that, it is my pleasure to pass the gavel to you. There you go, buddy. Have at it. And what was the word for 2020? Oh, that's right, pivot. I forgot to thank all of you for this amazing uh, plaque and gift from all of you. So thank you so much. It's truly been my pleasure to serve all of you. And I'd also like to introduce you now to a video from 2021 president of the National Association of Realtors, Charlie Oppler. Hey, Tom, congratulations on being elected as the president of the Washington Association of Realtors for 2021. I'm so excited to get the opportunity to work with you again, as we have many times in the past. I'm sure you're going to do a great job dealing with some of the issues we have on the table in this virtual world. And I don't think there's a better person in Washington to step up for this role. Congratulations and have a great year. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, past presidents. Uh, I, I, I stand on the shoulders of giants when I, when I stand here at this podium to accept this. Uh, I'm really glad, though, we're virtual because I think if Kitty had tried to pass this to me and she could be close enough to me, I might have gotten hit by it. So I want to thank Kitty for the year, like I said before. I also want to say, you know, in a year of pivot, some of, some of those pivots are amazing and good. Uh, I got to have my daughter here today as my MC, and that is something we normally wouldn't get to do, and that was amazing. I also want to thank you, Terry Sullivan, uh, for being such a mentor over the years, and just for being my friend and somebody that I can bounce ideas off of, and somebody that could be in my corner, but yet also give me constructive criticism whenever I needed it. So as you could tell, again, I want to start with gratitude. I want to thank my wife and my kids, Kelsey and Grace, for their love and support. You make me the man I am, and I wouldn't be who I am today without you, and I don't think I'd even want to be that. I want to thank my father, Chuck Hormel, who drug me into this business, kicking and screaming. And then he pushed me to get involved. I want to thank my mother, who through her life's example has shown me, to quote a Rocky movie, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I wanna thank my brothers for being an example to me and teaching me things like, in my formative years, like how to take a punch. That's where applause would have happened if we'd been in a room together. This Zoom humor thing is kinda of hard. <laughs> uh, I wanna thank the executive committee. Your tireless hours that you volunteer in the next year. They won't go on un unchallenged and they won't go unforeseen. So we will notice you. I wanna thank the staff of all the local associations, but especially the Spokane Association of Realtors and the Washington Association of Realtors. You, you make us volunteers look good. 
And to each and every member out there watching this tonight, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being members of this great organization. Thank you for making it worthwhile to want to be president of this organization. Without you, we would not be an association. There's lots of other people I'd like to thank and many, many, many amazing people I've met along the way that helped me become a better realtor and a better man. But I don't have that kind of time to thank every one of them. And every one of you has that magic button at the bottom that says leave. So I'm just going to get on with the rest of my speech. 2020 was an extraordinary year. We had the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And 2021 is going to be similar to that year. We still continue to face the COVID pandemic, but we also now face this crisis of character in our nation. Sorry, I didn't think I'd get choked up, but it's happening. Uh, we, we, as in all of us, have an opportunity to heal this nation, to come out of this stronger and more united. But I believe it starts with each and every one of us looking inward and taking stock of what's good and what needs work. I hear a lot of the people talk about raising the bar, and I'm going to ask you to look inward and raise your own bar before you demand others raise theirs. We need to let go of biases from generations past that not only don't help us, but quite the opposite. They harm us, and they harm our future and our children's future. Being kind and civil to all those around you, even when we don't agree, actually, especially when we don't agree. Actively listening to one another and taking a breath before responding to make sure that our response is about the issue and not about the person. I know this is kind of heavy stuff at a realtor association installation, but so be it. All these thoughts went into forming the logo that you see in front of you on the podium and the theme that we are in this together. I was reminded the other day when I was on Tacoma's installation by Dave Jones of a quote from former President Jimmy Carter. And that is, we become not a melting pot, but a beautiful mosaic. Different people, different beliefs, different yearnings, different hopes, different dreams. That quote tells us what makes us stronger. Our differences are what make us stronger. And if we decide to learn from each other, that will make us stronger. So in 2021, I will bring what, what I will bring what it, 2021 will bring what it brings, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we will face it together. It's our choice if it makes us stronger or if it breaks us. I know I will choose to be stronger, and I hope that you will join me in making our association an example of what we can be and do together. It is a great honor to serve you in 2021. Thank you, and that, I think that's about the conclusion of our installation, except for... Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, I've got a beautiful birthday cake here to, to, to serve up to my daughter and a couple of folks that are here, and I just want to say thank all of you and have a wonderful evening and a great 2021.